Whoa. Ow. It's time for reaction. Hey everybody, it's Old School Nerd. This is a um, kind of a different thing for me. Um, I don't do a lot of reactions to trailers for movies, but I did do the one for Dune. And I did the one for Star Wars and things like that. And this one I wanted to do because everyone's talking a lot of hype about it, but here's my problem. I didn't like the first two Spider-Man movies. Now, let me preface that by saying... I think Tom Holland is a great Spider-Man. He brings that youthful vulnerability to the character in a way that uh, none of the other actors have been able to capture. I think his relationship with Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. as the Tony Stark actor, they had a great chemistry on screen. It really came through Civil War, Infinity War. Oh, he's in a lot of wars. And in game. I think Tom Holland really nailed that. However, I found that the standalone Spider-Man movies, even though they integrated a lot of other characters, to me fell a little flat. Like to this day, the, f the first Spider-Man, Homecoming, have yet to sit through the whole movie. And I don't think that was really Tom Holland's fault as much as it was a very hollow performance, not a performance that was hollow for Michael Keaton. I just felt like the villain really didn't translate across for me very well. So I've never seen Homecoming all the way through. I, I just I haven't been able to watch it all the way through. Um, Far From Home, um, again, Jake Gyllenhaal, love him in a lot of movies. Loved him in Jarhead, things like that. There was just something about that movie. It didn't really connect well for me. This time, we're throwing Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch, in the mix. And I'm interested to see this trailer to see if these two work really well together. Um, every time we've introduced Benedict Cumberbatch, even if it's in small amounts, with Thor Ragnarok setting up the whole, where's Odin? <laughs> that was great stuff because Benedict Cumberbatch is really great on the comedic timing. So is Tom Holland. So maybe the coordination of the two might be very good. Also, instead of making up a completely new villain that we don't normally see in the Spider-Man universe, Dr. Octopus is the one that they're saying. And Dr. Octopus is a classic. In fact, not only is it a classic one, we've already seen it in other Spider-Man movies. I don't know how this iteration is going to go, but Marvel's really taking it to the next level. And I'm going to give this trailer a shot. And I'm going to give the movie a shot. My name is Old School Nerd. Check us out on OldSchoolNerd.com. It's got all of our social media posts. The Patreon link for those who want to help support the channel. And the merchandise store. Here we go. I've talked enough. Spider-Man, no way from home. Oh, look at this. This is a good one. Some suggest that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hypnotize females. Stop. <laughs> Come on. Yes, my Spider-Lord. <laughs> Come on. Okay. I do want to say... Uh, Zendaya uh, plays an amazing love interest and that foil for him as a character. Um, I think she does an amazing job because she's a very strong actress. Her character is very strong, very cynical, very dry, and puts him in a place of vulnerability that Tom Holland just shines in. Him not being able to have swagger around her has always been one of the key points to the character. And it's one of the few really connected parts of the first two Spider-Man movies that I really enjoyed. I just couldn't seem to get it with the other characters as a whole, especially with the villains. But hats off to her performance, the way she capsulizes that character and really makes Tom Holland seem like every guy who had a crush on a girl and just had no game. Because that's what it seems like, you know? So... Can we just like stay up here all day? It is so crazy down there. 
That's right, folks. Spider-Man is, in fact, Peter Parker. Listen, I did not kill Mysterio. The drones did. The drones that are yours. Does any part of you feel relieved about all this? What do you mean? Now that everybody knows, you don't really have to hide or lie to people. For the record, I never wanted to lie to you. But how do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? Now everybody knows. But this isn't about me. This is hurting a lot of people. I've just been thinking about how to fix all of this. See, that's something that they haven't touched on in really any of the movies. Okay, for instance, at the end of at the end of Iron Man One, the iconic line, Robert Downey Jr. is sitting in front of the podium, he's eating a cheeseburger and he goes, I am Spider Man or you know, whatever, at the end of the movie, you know? And everyone's like and then it catapults him to new levels of being the pompous a hole that he is. Right? And it works for him. But everyone else either doesn't have a secret or they are who they are. Okay, Paul Rudd as Ant-Man is one thing. Because the whole idea of Ant-Man is you never see him anyway. Um, Hawkeye, Black Widow, they're secret agents. You're not going to find them. The Hulk, nobody cares because you're not going to go near him anyway because he's the Hulk. And when you're talking about Dr. Stephen Strange, again, people know who Dr. Strange is and his name is his name. So it's not really a secret, but because Tom Holland, the character of Peter Parker is a juvenile in high school. This is one of the few times where, okay, their secret identity, to it, their secret identity is revealed and instead of other iterations where Peter Parker suddenly becomes famous and he's got endorsement deals and everybody's loving up, it's the complete opposite. It's almost like social media cancels him. The government's after him to blame him for everything they can. And one of my favorite parts about this thing is that something you don't normally see in any movie. When someone's secret identity is revealed in any genre, not just Marvel, but DC or any, any other iteration of superhero or supervillain where there's a secret identity, this is one of the first few times you get to see where media, the government, and nefarious actors not only come after the person with the secret identity, but everyone that knows him. And to show that, they haven't really done that before. And that kind of intrigues me. I want to see how they how they get go after Aunt May, you know, and his friends. And it doesn't appear that him being Spider-Man has done him any favors whatsoever. So, Peter, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Please, we saved half the universe together. I think we're beyond you calling me, sir. Okay, Steven. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. When Mysterio revealed my identity, my entire life got screwed up. I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. Strange. Don't care. Okay, so many movies. In fact, there's one with a former Spider-Man villain, the actor. Um, when you're dealing with um, <laughs> the classic story of what if I never existed? Or what if... What if this person never died? What if I finished school? What if I had done this? The, the what if scenario and the amazing catastrophic possibilities. Anytime you go, what if? And then you have the ability to actually see what happens when you do. We see a lot of, we see a lot of, even a Michael Keaton movie, they did that on one. Uh, I don't remember the name, but this is a plot line. That can go anywhere. And it's perfect for Doctor Strange because of the way he can manipulate stuff. But he has a wisdom. But obviously, he also has a mischievous wit. Um, I could just imagine that Wong's going to tell him, don't you dare. And Steven's going to go, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Chaos ensues. Yes, that spell. It's too dangerous. Fine. I won't. Knew it. <laughs> the entire world 
is about to forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Wait, everyone? Can't some people still know? That's not how the spell works. So MJ's gonna forget about everything we've ever been through? Stop tampering with the spell. Oh my God, Ned, he's my best friend. Oh, when Peter was outside the circle, he could say whatever he wants. But the second he stepped in the, into the conjuration circle, because there's an evocation going on. And so the circle is now spinning. He stepped inside. Peter's talking. Everything Peter says has now become part of the spell. This could get really ugly. Well, my Aunt May should really stop talking. happened we tampered with the stability of space-time oh multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little the problem is you trying to live two different lives the longer you do it the more dangerous it becomes Now, at first, I thought when I saw the bomb, I thought Hobgoblin, right? Green Goblin with the, the green with the. Is it is it Hobgoblin or Green Goblin or it's Green Goblin, right? Now, don't get me wrong. Defoe was the best goblin, period. He was so good at it. But I thought everyone said it was Dr. Octopus. And what's up with the green? Grenade. You know what? Go. Be careful what you wish for, Parker. Okay, it is Dr. Octopus. I just don't know why they had a green bomb. Hello, Peter. Wait a minute. Is that the same actor? But is it? Isn't that the same actor that played Dr. Octopus before? Now I'm really confused. All right, so it comes out December 17th. <sighs> okay, so now I'm going to have to go back and watch Spider-Man Far From Home so I can get the whole end game of that. Um, <laughs> end game, because it takes place after end game. I'll have to watch that. That one was another one I couldn't get all the way through. I kind of got caught up in it. I was like, ugh. And I, I just couldn't make it through. So I'm going to have to finish that one up to see where, how it ties into this one. From the preview, I like the way Benedict Cumberbatch and Tom Holland do connect. It just looks like it's a wild ride. Which we need because, like I said, the first two had some slowness in the middles. And I just couldn't stay in it. Anyway, so that's my review and reaction. To this trailer and um looks like it's going to be a pretty fun christmas hopefully we can actually see movies in the theater come christmas cross your fingers and call your doctor i guess all right guys we'll see you later